Raise the lips to stars that never end You're our guest in the front row Now it's time to start the show Grandson webcast show Interviews with folks you know Come along and join the fun In our books you're number one From the live entertainment capital of the world You're listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Hamner and Barber. It's not TV or radio, just one click, download the show. Grab some coffee, take your seat, we've got friends you'd like to meet. Branson Webcast Show, Hamner Barber, here we go. Laugh along and have some fun, it's a show for everyone. One of them plays with birds, and the other makes a sassy chihuahua talk. Here's Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Thank you, Craig Burnett, and welcome back to the webcast with one of our most interesting guests we'll probably ever have on the webcast, Tony Hassini, the uh, world president. World president, International Magician Society. Well, thank you. Ta-da! It's It's him! (laughs) It's the largest magician society in the world, isn't it? Yes, guys. We we have over 37,000 members worldwide. Uh, We're listed in Guinness World Record as the world's largest magic organization. And I got to tell you this, though, this guy is my favorite magician, <laughs> Dave Hamner. Yes. Because every time I come to Branson, Missouri, folks, we're here in Branson, Missouri, <laughs> the beautiful Branson, Missouri. And every time I come here, I, I, dry, I, take a, I rent a car from Springfield and I drive all the way down here just to see these beautiful people. <laughs> Jimmy's terrific. If you haven't seen it, by all means, you got to go and see it. And I can't say enough about you. So now yeah. that's the paid commercial right there, right? Not really. I mean it <laughs> from bottom of my heart. Why do you see every time I come to Bronx I come to see you guys? Yes, you do. And I never get tired. I never get tired of seeing this show. Well, you're a fun, fun person, and you've done a lot for magic. And, and you know, I'm we tease a lot. We do tease each other because we're good friends, and we've known each yeah. other for for ten years. It's been ten no, years. No, it's, it's it's been since they was it they discovered fire. Yeah, it could yeah, have been. Or was it? When the, it might when even they, been twelve years. I think it was ten or twelve years. I and think we've known each other. I know this guy since I think they invented the wheel. Yeah, it's been a long fire. time. It's been a lifetime, long time. But you've done an awful lot for magic, and it's, and it's labor of love. Yes, and you labor, love labor of love and. I travel around the world. I meet beautiful people like you two, and we have great time. And I'm not going to tell you my age, but you know I'm still like seven years old, and I'm trying to get down. <laughs> well, to you're age. in your thirties. I think you're in your thirties, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wish, wishful thinking. <laughs> well, you know, Tony, it, it's just great to have you back in Branson to see you. We're going to have a great time at the show tonight. I love it. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, several things. Um, let me ask you this. These projects that you're working on going worldwide, what other projects do you have right now in the works? Uh, it is, you know, I learned throughout the years, and, um, uh, and, and it's, it's my, my biggest downfall. Uh, I start a, a project, and then I start another project, and I start another project, and they all suffer. Um, and I know I'm going to get back to this project, and it, sometime it takes years to get back to it, or you never get back to it. This project that I'm working on now, the, the great magicians of the world, and basically it features the, the Merlin Award winners. You guys both are winners of Merlin Award, and you guys are going to be on the show. So and I, I want to focus on it. I want to stay on it and, and finish it. And it's going to be a weekly show. It's not just one-time show. It's going to be a weekly so show. It'll be a series. Then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a series and it's going to be formatted to half an hour slot. Mm-hmm. And we can go on probably for two, three years we have, we have enough Merlin Award recipients, enough footage to do that. And you have so, great names, some great names yeah, with the Merlin. Good, all, all the best people in the business, you know. We, we, we got the talent, but that's what I'm working on. And, and quite often I got my wife included. She comes up with this great idea. She says, well, what if we do this? I said, don't even talk about it. I want to focus. I want to stay on this. I don't want to know. If you have a million dollars and gold right there, I don't want to see it. I, and and I got to do this. So if I don't do it, I'm going to drift away. And it's going to sit on the shelf, and two years later, I'm going to come back to it, and I, I, that's what I'm doing. There's a lot of things. I'm traveling. I'm having a great time. I see every place I go, magic shows, the magicians, you know, they, they love to show the new stuff. So I'm backstage, 
and I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know all this new stuff. <laughs> Tell me about you guys, though. Uh, uh, is, is the new, you, you always get new illusions. You always get new stuff. We're working on new stuff, and we try to be original uh, uh, of what we're trying to do so that it draws people in. We've got a new uh, segment in the show, Mysteries of the Lost Ark Revealed. Cool. You know, you know they've been looking for that Ark of the Covenant for all these years. You remember uh, Indiana Jones was yes, looking for yes. it. In a story. <laughs> yeah, what you, you guys thought. Do but something. we know where the real one is. Cool, then. That's it's, it. Yeah. It's here in Branson, Missouri, right here in our theater, <laughs> at the Hamner Barber Theater. Uh, no, we do a segment, uh, Mysteries of the Lost Ark Reveal. It's brand new, and we're still working the bugs out. You know, with an illusion, it takes time. You have yeah. to work with it, and we're still doing that, but uh, we're loving what we're doing with it. And it's a, it's a whole production piece, yeah. and uh, we're getting good reviews with it, so we're still uh, working some of the bugs out. Well, you, you also have the parrots. You have lots oh. of birds, beautiful, colorful birds. And they're, they're your pets. They're, yeah. not, they're not just the working animals. No, no, no. They're you know, They love you. They're, they're your babies. Yes. Yes. We and hand feed them, them from, yeah, from yes. little babies, yes. Yeah, and you still have the birds. and uh, We've got and some Jim. of our original pieces. And then Jim has his original yes, pieces. Yes, yes. And Jim, multi-personality. My gosh, I love you. That, that per multi-personality and different mm -hmm. accents you have. You know, I mean, if, if one of you guys never seen this show... You're missing out a great deal. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it commercially. Yet. I really mean it. If you haven't seen this show, you're missing out. Because you have this no. multi-personality, different accents, different characters. It keeps you going, and you got the mystery. I mean, magic I is a, a good, mystery. I think it's a good combo, but it's, you know what yeah. he does, too? A, a good ventriloquist is a good illusionist. Exactly. Because you create the illusion that the, whatever it is, the doll, the piece of wood, whatever it is, actually takes on a personality right. and talks. He creates an illusion every time he goes out on stage. <laughs> well, the he, last time Tony was here, you know, you, you really honored us by presenting us with a Merlin Award, which is really a high honor in the world of magic, and we appreciated that so much. And... Um, Everyone in the world of magic knows who Tony Hassini is, yeah. of course, but a lot of people watching who aren't in the world of magic probably know you, but they don't realize that they have seen you before. That's right. It happens. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a breakfast this morning, I swear to you, over at the uh, Cracker Barrel, yeah. which is my favorite place. Sure. And uh, there's a couple that keep looking at me, and I... And I thought they're looking at the picture next to me because, you know, I looked at it as, you know, how the crack of bottle is all these antiques. And I said, I wonder if they're looking at that, that hair cutting tool that hang on the wall. Eventually they came over and they say, we know you from somewhere. We've seen you, but we don't know where. And it happens because whenever we present the award, they usually local television is there and, yeah. and it, we get, they get to see. And later on, they, they see this guy and I go, we know him, but they don't know from where. Right. You know, yeah. But it might also be uh, from your big campaign for Burger King exactly. years ago. Exactly. The TV. Oh, you gosh. created the magical Burger King. Yeah. Yeah, and that was like a, that was like another lifetime ago. Yeah. Yeah, but it yes. was a big it was a big production, a big campaign. Well, we we I created the marvelous magical Burger King for the Burger King Corporation. And the idea was to compete with Ronald McDonald, mm -hmm. you know, and it, you know, it it worked out. We had the campaign for 6 years. And then the, 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 the ownership changed, the Burger King Corporation, the new stockholders, all that. And they felt that they wanted to put all of their money into the adult campaign. And so they kind of killed the children campaign. I'm sorry to see that, because it was a good campaign. But even today, you see Burger King commercials? Well, they've, they've, they got the character. They've yeah. brought the character back, but he, he's kind of a... Plastic. It's a little different, though. Yeah, it's they, the same character. Plastic, plastic, but the whole theme, though, it's yeah. not really meant for yeah. kids. And I'm saying, for... I'm saying he's a, he's a guy I created. I should <laughs> yeah. be getting royalty out of this. <laughs> exactly. I created the king, the custom, yeah. that whole thing. And then I, I, I see this Burger King commercial, and it's just a plastic king. And I go... Jesus, y'all should be getting royalties out of this. <laughs> obviously, it was a genius idea because they, they have brought it back yeah. and, and they've probably put more into it now than they did before. Yeah. You know, you uh, know what? Maybe I should go back and talk to them. Tell them, hey, let's, yeah. let's, well, let's bring come up with the, the next big idea. You there know? you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should go. <laughs> and that's, but, but truthfully, you hit it. Tony, you are a great ideas man. <laughs> and you do come up with some big ones. Well, thank and, you. And we do believe this... Uh, the great magicians of the world and this weekly series could cool. be a big thing that it's comes cool. up. The nice thing about it, you know, the show, you guys haven't seen it yet, but we start out and um, if it's a foreign magician, we have a, a 60 second montage of the country. So the viewers at home, they get to see the, 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 the country and the music 
mm-hmm. and the culture. So you kind of get mentally into that country. Then we see the magician on the stage who does one of his great illusions. But the kicker is we go backstage or his home or his backyard or in a diner or a restaurant, doesn't matter. And he shares the first trick he ever learned with the home audience. Simple trick, you know, the kids can do it at home. But that, that gets people, if that guy started with that simple trick and he's a big magician now, maybe I have a chance. Maybe I can start out with that same trick. Someday I can be a magician. Or some guy, you know, he's, a, uh, he's retired and he wants to have fun with magic. He can take magic as a hobby. So it, it, it's a good idea. And then um, now when we uh, have you in the show, I probably end up doing a little segment on Branson. You know, we, maybe we can get some footage of Branson. Then we can open up from beautiful Branson, Missouri, and then we introduce you guys. There, there was a trick that they, people do this. I don't know. I can't even, well, Jim you know does it all the time. The, the, uh, Jim the can do where you pull the thumb off. So you yes, can yeah, do yeah, that trick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim can yeah, do that. So all right, can. then you know what, Jim? We will do that. <laughs> we, when when I am, um, when I. I, we'll do that. We'll have Jim. Okay. Do Jim will say this is the first trick I learned before I got into puppets, and then we can. And then you do your coin trick. Exactly. You I told love me it. about oh, the first this, trick. This is great, guys. This is. We're gonna do it. It'll be wonderful. You told me about your first trick that yeah. you learned when you were young in New York City. Yeah. Tell us. Do you remember? You, your whole. You came from Cyprus, right? You grew up in Cyprus. Yeah. Actually, I I, I was born and raised in the island of Cyprus, and back then. This is back in the 19, when I left the island, it was late 50s. I left in 1960. I'm giving you all my age, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm 28 and a half, going to be 29. If you believe that, you believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> well, we well, do. You know, we I do believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> right. uh, and back then, the island of Cyprus was a British. Later on, they got the independence. And so um, I had a British passport, and I went to London, England. And you didn't need a visa, you didn't need anything, just, just go to England. I went to England, I was hoping to get a job, any kind of job, didn't matter what. Uh, maybe waiter in a restaurant, or it doesn't matter. And I end up getting a job in a magic shop. It's like working in a, in a garage fixing you know, cars, engines. And, and before you know, you know, every kind of engine, every kind of you know, exhaust system and, and, and a transmission. And I don't know about cars. So I'm just throwing out stuff that comes with a car. I know about <laughs> transmission and the exhaust. So, you know, don't assume that I'm an expert in cars. But I, I mean, I'm just comparing. Working in a magic shop, you get to learn all the tricks. The, the, the best part of it, we had these famous magicians. They come to store, and I, I didn't know them. I was a young kid. I mean, Kalanak. This was a very famous magician from Germany, mm-hmm. uh, long before Siegfried and Roy. Uh, we had Al Koran, in mm-hmm. England's greatest yeah, magician. Premier magician. Yes, premier magician. But Al Koran didn't look like the man you see on TV. Because on TV, he had the uh, top hat and the tuxedo with a bow tie and he looked very distinguished. He comes to shop and he's wearing his clothes, looks like a farmer. <laughs> and he, all of a sudden he realized that I didn't recognize him. So he, he decides to pull a joke on me. And I'm just a young punk, you know. And he says, excuse me, young man with his British accent. He says, hey, um, I used, uh, you, you know all these tricks they sell here? And I says, of course, I know every single one of them. I can do them in my sleep. He says, blimey, that's wonderful. I saw a magician the other night on television. And he did, and he describes one of all Quran's signature piece. And he says, I have no idea how he did. Do you know how he did that trick? And I go, yeah, sure, I can do that in my sleep. <laughs> God. And, and, you know, he talked and talked, and then eventually he left. And the owner of the magic shop, Tony Corinda, Tony Corinda wrote The 13 Steps to Mentalism, which is the most respected magic book, mm-hmm. mentalism book, even today. Tony Corinda was my boss. I worked for him. So Tony Corinda comes over and he says, who was that guy you were talking to? I said, I don't know. Some, some guy was asking questions and he didn't buy anything. He says, oh, yeah. He says, look at that photograph over there on the corner. <laughs> and I looked at the picture. He says, does that guy look like that photograph? And I, look, I looked at it. I almost died. <laughs> it's Al Koran. And he says, his signature trick that he described, you told him that you can do it in his sleep forward and backward. <laughs> I almost died. I swear I felt so small. Since then, if anybody asks me, do you know how to do this trick 
even though I know the trick. You say no. I say, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I kind of maybe. Would you would you show me? <laughs> could you please show me your version? And I'll never say yes. I know. Oh sure. Oh sure. You know, <laughs> I don't want to ever put my. I was I was 16 years old. I was 16 years old. I learned a great you lesson. You grew up quick. I learned a great lesson. Somebody says, "Do you know this?" Don't be a wise guy. <laughs> you know, just say, hmm, "Maybe, I, maybe I don't know." Could you please show it to me? Yeah. And let them show it to you. Give them the the, the respect courtesy. and the courtesy. <laughs> and be and gracious. Maybe, maybe, and maybe you get something out of it. Sure, maybe maybe sure. guys kind enough to share with you some ideas. Mm -hmm. No, oh yeah, I know it. I know it back <laughs> from I can do it in my sleep. Peaked. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, well, Tony, listen, we would love to talk with you all day long. Great. It's thank you, thank you so much thank for you, being Tony. part of our webcast. Yeah. And I love you, so my friend. Thanks yeah, for you what know, you've done, not listen. only for us here with Magic and it's, Branson, but around the world. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Well, when I come back to Branson, which is going to be maybe a couple of months, uh, two, three months, uh, I'd love to do this again. We, we, I'll have more, more stuff. stuff we'll yeah. More stories. Yeah, yes. A nice meeting you, everybody. Hope to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Hassini. Bye-bye. You've been listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Join us next time for more interviews, music, and fun from Branson, Missouri. Y'all come back and hear us soon. Hope you liked our little tune. Next time on the internet, we'll have new friends you haven't met. Branson Webcast Show, spread the word to all you know. On the web and having fun. It's the show for everyone. This is your announcer, Craig Burnett, saying thanks for joining us and come back real soon for more fun at BransonWebcast.com.